If you're a civilian that wants to be better prepared and understand more about medical care and trauma care, but you don't know where to go for the training or what resources to use, then this is the video for you. frequent question that I get is, hey, I'm a civilian, I want to further my knowledge in medical and trauma, what kind of classes should I be taking? Where can I find these classes? Are there classes around me? What other resources do you have that I could use to learn more about medical and trauma? Whether that's books or websites or publications or people or YouTube channels. What is out there that's been vetted that is good information? Well, this video is dedicated to offering information to you on where to find medical training and what resources are out there that you can pull from. And we will leave links to all these things we talk about in the description below so you'll have that readily available and easy access to go find these classes and information. Where do we get started? Well, let's get started with the classes. Let's talk specifically about classes you can go take. A couple classes I believe everyone should take would be a Stop the Bleed class and a CPR class. Those are the fundamentals. I get it. That's not the cool class. CPR is not the cool, tactical, shoot them up, awesome kit, gear, whatever class, but it's foundational. It's fundamental. You should be able to do CPR on somebody. You should know how to do that well. There's a greater chance if you come in across somebody needing CPR than someone needing a tourniquet applied. So where do you find training for CPR? Two of the most common certifying agencies for CPR would be the AHA, the American Heart Association, and the Red Cross. I would recommend the AHA. They're the most common, most widely accepted, and some places only recognize AHA certification. So AHA is probably the most common certification for CPR. In order to find a class near you, you can go to their website, and we'll leave a link to that down below. But go to their website, and you can look up classes. You can search by area, and you can figure out what classes are scheduled to take place near you that you can sign up for. Next up, let's talk about a bleeding control course. So stopthebleed.org is a website that's been put together. And this group of people has taken uh, materials and data and created a Stop the Bleed class. This class and course material is available through their website to instructors. People can go and sign up as an instructor if they have experience in trauma or bleeding control of some type, like an EMT or a paramedic. And now these instructors have access to these free resources for teaching these classes and they can go teach these classes in their communities to certify people and to train people on how to stop severe bleeding. Now the instructors may charge a fee for their class because they do have to buy training supplies and training tourniquets and packing gauze and props and all that kind of stuff. So it does cost money to host these classes. So you, as someone taking these classes, may have to pay a fee. Sometimes they're free, especially if it's hosted by a ambulance service or a hospital or a nonprofit that's trying to get the word out there. So there are some free classes out there. Some of them you may have to pay for though. There is a list of all these classes that are being hosted on their website at stopthebleed.org. And I will leave a link to that down below as well. If there is not a Stop the Bleed course in your area, you can contact your local ambulance service or hospital, and a lot of times they will provide those classes if you request them. Now, for a step up from your Stop the Bleed course would be something similar to a TECC course. TECC stands for Tactical Emergency Casualty Care. This is a spinoff of the military's version, the TCCC, Tactical Combat Casualty Care, and they changed their curriculum a little bit and set it up better for emergency responders such as law enforcement, fire departments, EMS, and those type of people. While you as a civilian can sign up for some of these courses, you may want to find a course that's geared more towards civilian side of things so you're not sitting in class for two days learning about ketamine administration, um, fentanyl, uh, ambulance staging operations, all that kind of stuff. It's not going to be really relevant to you as a civilian that wants to learn good tactical medical care. If you're looking for a TECC course, just understand that TECC is a group of medical personnel that put together these guidelines and training materials for instructors to take this and then go teach their own TECC class that is tailored towards specific types of people based on what their individual needs are. Now, there is a company, 
National Association of EMTs, NAEMT, that teaches several different types of classes and has their own curriculum for things, including TECC. So they have their own tactical emergency casualty care class based off the same guidelines, but now they've put their own spin on it and they now sell that class out to other people. So instructors can become an instructor for that specific class and certify people and provide medical CEUs and all that fun stuff with that class. But just understand that that is not, when you find the NAEMT TECC class, that is not the only TECC class that you can take. That is one of the options out there and it's based off the same guidelines that someone else may be teaching from as well. Also for TECC classes, you can find some through North American Rescue. They teach some at their facilities um, and that's typically a two day class as well. So we will leave information below for North American Rescue's TECC classes as well. If you're looking for an NAEMT TECC class, We'll leave a link to that down below. You can search their database, see a list of classes. Just understand some of those instructors may have that just for first responders. Some of them may have it as open enrollment. So you could, would have to contact them and figure out um, if you're just a civilian, you'd have to figure out if they would allow you to come take that class. Or not. And that leads us into the next category of training we're gonna talk about, which are tactical medicine classes for civilians specifically. Now, a lot of these are based off the TECC guidelines using some of the curriculum and the guidelines from the Committee of Tactical Emergency Casualty Care that puts this stuff together, but now they're tailored a little bit more towards civilians, toward people that every day carry medical gear, that can still carry a weapon and carry a tourniquet. And that is what these classes are geared more toward, is preparing and educating civilians. So the three classes I'm gonna mention in this category would be one by uh, Warrior Poet Society, one by Fieldcraft Survival, and then also one by Archangel Tactical. Warrior Poet Society has a Med 1 and Med 2 course, uh, level one, level two. They haven't had one on their website listed in quite a while. Um, it may just be on demand or uh, specific cases. But if you're interested in that, at least reach out to them and see if they have any scheduled um, or if they could schedule one for you or your group. The next option would be Fieldcraft Survival. Fieldcraft Survival teaches a lot of classes that are geared around preparedness, uh, personal security, self-defense, and they also have an emergency medical class. This is a one-day class. Um, they have some of them listed on their website. It's about $250 right now, at least, for the classes they have listed. Um, and they have some good instructors as part of that group, so that would be another one we would recommend. And we, again, we have a link to that down below as well. The last one we're gonna talk about is a new class that just came about. It's by Archangel Tactical. And while I have not taken this class or talked to anybody that has taken this class, I do know the instructors over there at Archangel Tactical. I've talked to them um, and these guys are very sharp. They know their medicine and they would be someone good to learn from. So I would recommend that as well. We'll have a link to their um, emergency medical class down below as well. Moving on now, we're going to talk about a little bit more professional licensure that is available out there if you want to pursue something further than just a two-day tactical medical or simple medical class. We have first off the wilderness set of classes. So depending on how in-depth you want to go with your training, you can start out at a wilderness first aid, then go get your wilderness first responder, wilderness EMT. There's a lot of different options, but you can find all that information at knolls.org. That is the National Outdoor Leadership School, um, .org, N-O-L-S, .org, and we'll have a link for that down below. Wilderness medicine is a great way to take a next step into medicine. You learn a lot of the basics of something like EMT school or first responder school, but you're also now having to apply that in situations where you may not have standard EMS equipment. So if you as a civilian are wanting to learn medical care, now you can learn medical care, but also how to improvise and use things when you're out in the wilderness, which would also be the same as when you're at home and don't have an ambulance or the same equipment that an ambulance has to work with. Next, let's talk about emergency medical response or licensure for EMS, ambulance service, um, pre-hospital standard care. That would be anything like a EMR, an EMT basic, advanced EMT, or paramedic. Those are your licensure levels for EMS. A EMR is typically taught by your local EMS agency or fire departments, 
and it's about a 80 hour class. Um, so contact your local EMS and see if they are hosting any EMR programs in the area. If you volunteer with a local fire department, a lot of times that fire department will actually pay for your tuition and education to go through a first responder class. And it's quicker, cheaper, and easier to manage for someone that's still working full-time doing something else than something like, say, an EMT school where you'd have to go to a community college or a larger uh, organization, go through EMT school, go for an entire semester. Um, and EMR is just a simpler way to get in, learn some basics, and be able to do that for cheaper. The next step up would be EMT basic and then advanced EMT. These are typically taught at community colleges. You should be able to do an internet search and find what community colleges around you are offering this. There are also some private groups, depending on what state you're in, that will offer EMT school as well. Um, there are some online options as well. Um, the online options that I have seen typically just give you online access to a book. You're on your own to read the book, take the test, and then when you're done, you're expected to pass the practicals and the uh, final exam at the end, pass the National Registry test, get certified in that state, and then you're gonna get certified in whatever state that school is in, not whatever state you live in, so then you have to work on transferring your license back to your state. Not the best route to go if you don't have any experience before it. It may be a good option for someone that's been through EMR, is already responding with a fire department, working with patients and seeing these things. Now it's an easier way to bridge to that. But if you're just starting fresh, I probably don't recommend online EMT school for you just to jump in there, try to read all this stuff, learn on your own, and then go take this test and become a certified EMT. Two main options. Um, there are several, but probably two that I would recommend. One would be North American Rescue. They're typically the cheapest, most economical option. Um, again, they release an online book to you and it's up to you to read all this material, take the quizzes. Uh, if you fail a certain number of times, then you won't pass uh, and you'll have to start over. I don't know all the nuances to that, but I know a lot of people that have taken their class um, and it seems to be one of the better options for classes out there as far as working with the people to get your certification. The other option is emtfiretraining.com. The uh, perk to what they offer is that they offer for you to be able to do your final skills check off via a webcam. It's probably not the best option, but it does allow you the ability to be able to do that check off at home. They will send you supplies, you pay a down payment, and then you get that money back once you ship the supplies back for that final checkoff. And you don't have to pay all the travel expense to be able to go travel somewhere to get your EMT. The final stage for EMS would be paramedic. That's the uh, about the highest level of licensure for EMS until you get into PA, doctors, and some of those people that are now working on ambulances as well. For paramedic school, you'll have to go through some form of college or a private entity that teaches paramedic school. Um, there are no online paramedic options that I know of, and I think that's a good thing because there are enough skills that paramedics do that you should not be able to learn that online and have someone that's a competent paramedic come out of that program. Well, that summarizes the majority of the classes that would be good introductory classes or pathways for you to take to start from basic bleeding control and CPR, getting some tactical uh, medicine classes and some options for that. And then if you wanna continue to progress, moving into wilderness first aid, wilderness first responder, EMR, EMT, and maybe even paramedic if that's something you're really interested in. Aside from classes that require you to go somewhere, pay money for and take a class, which is not a bad thing by the way, that's actually how you get really good training, but some other options that you could start with right now to start learning and exploring some more about medicine and trauma would be some YouTube channels. While you can't believe everything you see on the internet and you cannot follow all the advice given on YouTube, there are some people out there that are putting out some good information on YouTube that is well worth it to spend the time to watch. And it's free information, so how can you turn that down? A couple of these people that I would recommend, one would be Prep Medic. Prep Medic has a good YouTube channel. He talks about all things EMS, HIMS, tactical medicine. He has training on how to do medical things. He also has gear reviews and he talks a lot about the EMS system, um, how these things work. So if you're interested in EMS or uh, emergency medical care of any type, you should definitely check out his channel. Another channel to follow would be the National Outdoor Leadership School 
or the Knowles channel. They are the ones that put on the wilderness first aid and first responder classes, and they have some good training information on their YouTube channel as well. European Medics is a newer YouTube channel, and there's not a lot of videos on their channel right now. But that's definitely one that I would subscribe to and follow and keep up with. They have a lot of good information that they are posting on their Discord server, um, on their website, on Instagram, and there's a lot of information they're putting together. So as they continue to put out videos on YouTube, those are ones you'll definitely want to check in with and stay up to speed on. Another one that I will mention is UF Pro. Now UF Pro is a company that makes tactical gear. They make BDUs, pants, shirts, that type of thing. But they also have some really good training videos, um, not just on medical care, but their medical care videos are actually pretty good. They run through TCCC, tactical care, um, how to uh, treat people that have severe hemorrhage, and uh, severe trauma and so they have some videos that are worth checking out and we'll put the link to some of those down in the description as well and always six echo we have a youtube channel and we put out that kind of content for you so we have a lot of information and videos that we've posted on this channel anywhere from tourniquets to airway control to uh, vital signs to even some physiology that explains how blood circulates through the body and all that kind of stuff. So we have a lot of information out there. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit a su subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel so you're alerted of any future videos that we post. And leave us a like on the video if you find it helpful. That helps us, that helps our rating, that helps YouTube to be able to see that people are enjoying the content that we're producing, and that really does help us out a lot. And we'd love to hear from you. So leave us a comment below on any of the videos that we've produced. We'll try to get back with you as soon as possible on those, but we love hearing what people are thinking, what people are seeing, and how people are perceiving these videos that we're putting out. And if you have any questions, leave those as well. We'll try to answer them to the best of our ability. All right, so we've got a bunch of classes you can go take. We've got some YouTube channels with some free information. And there are a couple other links that I would like to leave you before we wrap this video up. Two links, one would be the Deployed Medicine website. Now Deployed Medicine is basically taking the TCCC or the tactical care information from that committee and putting it in a format or a website and including a mobile app. They have a mobile app as well that you can download. But it's taking all that tactical care information and put it in some concise forms, easy to use, user friendly, and now you can go through and see all the updated trauma guidelines. So when you're looking for updated guidelines to TCCC, I would definitely check out Deployed Medicine. Um, website and mobile app, great resources to have. The last resource I'll leave you with is a link to the US Army's uh, website where they have a PDF that's basically a handbook for tactical medicine. Um, this is a TECC short booklet uh, that you can purchase on Amazon or you can find the PDF on the Army's website. So we'll leave a link for that down below and that gives you all the basics for tactical care. Well, if you are a civilian that is wanting to get better prepared and want to understand more about medical and trauma care so you can help other people out, we hope this video was helpful and we hope this helps steer your next steps on where you're gonna go for training and knowledge and education. We also hope that you'll check out more of the videos we have on our channel. We have a lot of information we put out there on about a weekly basis. So make sure you check back in the future for more videos we post as well. If you're looking for trauma gear and medical kits, you can check out our website at sixechosystems.com. And as always, stay vigilant and stay safe.